Scott Groves here with another mortgage mystery. And by the way, do us a favor, click the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to this channel if you're finding information about the mortgage process or the real estate markets that you're finding helpful. Today's mortgage mystery is a question that comes to us from a client that found us on YouTube asking, what is Melarus tax? Melarus, M-E-L-L-O hyphen R-O-O-S, is a special type of tax or assessment that is generally associated with new construction. So let's say for example, you're buying in a neighborhood where there's a brand new housing track. Either you're the first owner of that property or you're buying that property that's being resold to you, but it was constructed in the last 10 to 15 years. There's a chance that in addition to your normal tax bill, there might be what's called Melarus tax. And Melarus tax is a supplemental tax bill for a finite amount of time that goes to help pay for the infrastructure in the housing track in which you're buying. We see this a lot in certain areas of Southern California, in areas of Texas, in areas of Nevada, where there's a lot of new housing development and track houses on the outer fringes of major metropolitan areas. And if you think about it, each of those new construction areas comes with the need to build new fire departments, new school districts, new infrastructure, wiring, plumbing, pavement, streets. And so to pay for that, the developer will work in conjunction with the county or the city or the municipality, and they will come up with a percentage rate of Melarus tax that will be supplemented and on top of your normal tax payment. So let's take, for example, an outlying area of Los Angeles County. The base tax rate for LA County for anybody owning property is right around one and a quarter percent. So if you buy a house for $500,000, you multiply that by 1.25%, you divide that by 12, and those are the taxes that are gonna be added to your monthly mortgage payment. However, if you're buying in a new construction area or an area that's been constructed in the last 10 years, you will likely have a Melarus tax. I've seen Melarus tax as low as 0.05%, all the way up to 1%. So a Melarus tax can add hundreds of extra dollars to your tax bill every month and thousands of extra dollars to your annual tax bill. However, presumably you're getting something for that money because that money goes to building out the new infrastructure in the area. Now usually, or I think always actually, that Melarus tax will have a sunset date. So it'll say, hey, this Melarus tax is in place for five years. 10 years or 20 years. I know my wife and I bought a house in Valencia, California, which is a suburb of Los Angeles in late 2018, early 2019. That housing track had gone up in 1998 with a 20 year Melarus tax bill that was used to build the infrastructure and the new blue ribbon schools that are in the area. We bought right after that Melarus tax expired because it sunsetted after 20 years and that took away about $300 a month on our mortgage payment that the previous owners had been paying for 20 years. So if you're buying a house with Melarus tax, if you have a question about fully understanding your all-in mortgage payment or you're looking to buy or refinance a house, our team would love to help. Shoot us an email, give us a call, or use the link below to get on our calendar, and we would love to assist with your purchase or refinance mortgage. If for some reason our team is not licensed in the state where you're looking to buy or refinance a house, we have a pool of amazing loan officers who we can refer you to in order to help you facilitate a mortgage in your area. Scott Groves, Mortgage Mysteries, do me a favor again, hit the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel if you're finding this information valuable.